Right. We all know songs like Crazy and I Fall to Pieces. They're synonymous with the late country music singer Patsy Cline. And the story of Cline's unlikely friendship with a housewife is the subject of a fantastic production on stage at the Walnut Street Theater right here in Philadelphia. You can enjoy performances of Always Patsy Cline now through May 15th. And joining us now is Jenny Lee Stern, who plays Patsy Cline in this production, and Rebecca Robbins, who takes on the role of Cline's fan turned friend, Louise Sager. I'm so excited to learn more about this interesting story. So thank you both for being here with us this morning. Yes, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Jenny Lee, I want to start with you because this is not your first time playing Patsy Cline. Tell us what you love about portraying her on stage and what we'll see in this production. Um, nope, not my first time at the Honky Tonk, honey. Um, played Patsy Cline for the first time about 13 years ago. And um, I mean, what I just tell everyone is beyond the catalog being, you know, vocally humbling and important to do, just sort of being able to work through all of these emotions and these lyrics that sort of we've all grown up with. But I mean, it's a huge honor to portray really this icon and revolutionary in, um, you know, female country pop crossover music. And um, it's a thrill to do it at America's oldest theater. Now, Rebecca, let's talk to you, because what I find so interesting is this friendship that developed between Patsy and Louise um, and how it just evolved. Talk about how we see that evolution on stage. Well, it starts, I mean, obviously she's a huge fan of Patsy Cline. She listens to her on the radio. She's always requesting her songs on the radio. And then when she comes into town, she goes to the concert. And unbeknownst to her, Patsy's just as much us as we are. And, uh, you know, they just sit down together before the show and have a beer and start chatting. And then they realize you know, their lives really aren't that different. And they just connect on a personal level as mothers, as wives. You both also have local connections too. Talk about what it is you love about performing, like you said, for live audiences in Philadelphia. Yeah. Well, I feel very fortunate. I consider Philly my, my home base, uh, even though I've done a lot of work in New York. I always like coming back here. This is actually my 20th show at the Walnut Street Theater. I grew up in the Philadelphia area and then lived in New York for 15 years and you know had a career on Broadway and off Broadway and national tours. And to be back here now, you know, I think over the pandemic we had, there was a lot of talk of like, you know, Broadway's closing, Broadway's back, but you know, not so much press about the regional theater scene and the impact that that's had on local families and jobs and just artistic expression in smaller cities. When I get up on stage as when I make my first entrance and you know I say it sure is great to see y'all and it sure is great being back here on this old stage. I mean that is 100% real and the audience reacts like they're so happy to be back too. Yeah, that always gets a big applause. Yeah, it's emotional. Don't miss performances of Always Patsy Cline at the Walnut Street Theater now through May 15th. And of course, you can get more details in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.